The Atlantic slave trade, also known as the transatlantic slave trade, was the enslavement and transportation primarily of African people to the colonies of the New World that occurred in and around the Atlantic Ocean. Most enslaved people were shipped from West Africa and Central Africa and taken to North and South America to labor on coffee, cotton plantations, gold and silver mines, rice fields, the construction industry, and shipping or in houses to work as servants. The Atlantic slave trade was performed in a series of a triangle known as the triangular trade. The first side of the triangle was the export of goods from Europe to Africa. The second leg of the triangle exported enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean to the Americas and the Caribbean islands. The third and final part of the triangle was the return of goods to Europe from the Americas. From the middle of the 15th century, Africa entered into a relationship with Europe that led to the damage and depopulation of Africa, but gave wealth and development to Europe. Europeans established this trade until the end of the 19th century. African tribal leaders captured men, women, and children to sell to the British sailors. Then the captured slaves were chained and marched to the port of the slave coast and were then cramped into the ship. The first English sailor that went on a slaving voyage to Africa was Captain John Hawkins in 1562. He captured Africans and sold them to the Spanish colonies in the Americas. British traders supplied slaves for the Spanish and Portuguese colonists in America, but as British settlements in the Caribbean and North America grew, they often had wars with European countries such as Holland, Spain, and France. So then British slave traders gradually supplied the British colonies. Slaves were transported in very low conditions. They were crowded into a cargo hold and with little access to fresh air, clean water, or proper food. Many died on the way. They were taken on board, stripped naked, and examined from head to toe by the captain or surgeon. The conditions on board during the Middle Passage were terrible. The men were packed together below deck and were secured by leg irons. The space was so overcrowded they were forced to crouch or lie down. Women and children were kept in separate quarters, sometimes on deck, allowing them limited freedom of movement, but this also exposed them to violence and sexual abuse from the crew. Captains had two ways to load their ships with slaves. The first system was called loose packing. Under that system, captains transported fewer slaves than their ships could carry in order to reduce diseases and deaths. The second system was called tight packing. This system was based on the fact that more slaves they had, the more profit they could make. They carried as many slaves as their ship could carry and often more. Sanitary conditions were really bad. Most slaves preferred to ease themselves where they were. There were many suicide attempts such as jumping overboard and even asking others to strangle them. Starvation suicide attempts became so common that a device was introduced to forcefully open the mouths of slaves who refused to eat. The slaves were fed twice a day and their meals came in small fat tubes. These were the conditions during the Middle Passage. In 1831, a rebellion in Jamaica shook the British Empire. The British ruling class and the Jamaican planter class behaved in the most vicious, repressive, and hypocritical manner. But the rebels and the British working class showed the value of international solidarity. The rebellion became known as the Baptist War because of the Baptist involvement in educating slaves and their fierce opposition to slavery. The rebellion was led by Samuel Sharp, a slave and lay Baptist preacher. The Baptist War is also referred to as the Christmas Rebellion because it occurred around Christmas Day. The rebellion began as a demand for the payment of wages to slaves. Jamaican slaves initially organized a strike immediately following the Christmas weekend to halt work on the island's sugar plantations. As slaves, Plantation workers on Jamaica had few labor rights, but by 1831, the British Parliament in London was debating the abolition of slavery. Sam Sharp was aware of the debate in London and told other slaves about it through his role as a Baptist preacher. Religious worship was the only kind of collective meeting slaves were permitted. 
Sharp's goal was to improve the working condition of his fellow slaves. The conflict escalated on December 27, 1831, when slaves set a series of fires that raced across the plantations, destroying many sugar fields. Samuel Sharp himself set the initial fire at an estate in St. James to signal the beginning of the strike. The strike and the rebellion that followed gained support from more than 20,000 slaves and spread throughout western Jamaica. Slaves and the British militia fought for nearly two weeks until January 5, 1832. More than 200 slaves were killed in the battle. About 750 slaves were captured and convicted of sedition, and most received public floggings or death sentences. Samuel Sharp was among those captured. He was hung in a public square that now bears his name. The Jamaican Assembly attributed the uprising to the action of Sharp and the local Baptist Church. The Baptist Church had earlier declared its opposition to slavery, but it supported only gradual abolition of the practice. The Baptists were also accused of popularizing the idea that slaves owned loyalty only to God and not to their masters. Historians later concluded that the Baptist Church had little direct role in the rebellion. The church and its teaching had achieved widespread popularity among slaves prior to the rebellion. When Sharp became actively involved in organizing resistance among the slaves, he was marginalized by the Baptist Church. Movements to abolish slavery in Britain took off in the late 1770s. One of the important abolitionists was William Wilberforce. He was encouraged by John Newton, a slave ship captain who regretted his involvement in slavery and described to him the horrific acts of the slave trade. Wilberforce struggled as he gave speech after speech in the House of Commons and the House of Lords. It took him nearly 20 years for both Houses of Parliament to accept his draft law against slave trade. In 1807, the British government declared the buying, transporting and selling of slaves illegal, but it was not against the law to own slaves until 1834. The of the slave trade throughout the entire British Empire. Nose to the left, 16. Eyes to the right, 283. The Black Codes occurred after the Civil War when the Black slaves became freedmen. These codes were laws passed by the southern states in the United States of America that prohibited freedmen from essentially any work except as field workers. The black codes were placed to control and regulate the daily lives of the blacks. This led to the restriction of the earned freedom of black people. Some of the laws that were placed in the Black Codes are that it is illegal for a freedman to handle weapons, black people were restricted from buying and selling land, it was illegal for a black person to own any type of business, black children could be seized from poor families and forced to work in the fields, if a black man had no job, he could be jailed and auctioned to a planter for his labor, and some states also went as far as making beating of the blacks who misbehaved legal. The black codes were placed in 1865 and lasted for about 12 years. The black codes ended in 1877 when the Republican Party took over the reconstruction of the American government. The Republican Party forced the southern states to annul many of the Black Codes. The annulment of the Black Codes gave black people their rights back.
I suppose to forget that I was there with all the all was old day today and I forget that. Vereen Shepherd. How can I forget Vereen Shepherd name? Oh gosh, man. So much that lick me in my with a Bible for that. But Vereen Shepherd was hosting a press conference today at the university and in the Reparations Research Center. I want the people them listen to me ever read because it's, it's a very important document given that we hear people talk about reparations. We hear all the arguments given about England. That, well, the Queen said that actually. The Queen said that because the Bobo House was a, the first group of Rastafari bridge and who take the sting up on a level where them carry it to the Queen of England. The Queen of England did say that at the time when that go on, slavery was legal and fair government, fair tenure do have nothing to do with it, so she can't help the situation. That's what we hear she say. So it did drop, but you have ones who are resilient and keep pushing, pushing, pushing for reparations. Then we hear government men come. And so we must forget about it. That gone a long time. And as a matter of fact, they might tell you, say, the people them who did the responsible for slavery dead. And we are arguing, say, the, the benefits of our slavery still exist in our modern times. Yeah. Companies, banks, all them please place say, benefit of our slavery. We, 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 we can mention some of the, the companies them will still exist. In the world today, out of England, we benefit half of slavery. We want to read this article. Yeah? I think it's a very important article for real. And Jamaican people must know, say, we under British rule paying taxes. Listen to me, I say, we under British rule paying taxes, some of that tax money went towards compensation for slave owners. Not the slaves, the slave owners was compensated for their last of revenue and slave labor by we the farmer slaves and our ancestors because this thing is a very serious thing for know that the Brit and people in England we want to talk to the people in England black people in England white people in England that the government of England I've been paying money for compensate the people them who lost out on the abolition of slavery. The white people them who lost out on the abolition of slavery. They were paid by the taxpayers of England. And it's not in the years when we're not having a barn, you know. Everybody who are listening to me now did barn when they appeared that. Everybody where I listen to me now, even my little brethren Brian and so who are just not. <laughs> if never reached a year, 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 if I'm not here all. All him LP white people who did own slave. He might pay them money because I know Sir Brian ban before 2015, which is three years ago. Mm -hmm. Now all them tell you that slavery done. And them can't pay the African them reparation money. Listen to what we are talking about now, you know, because we read in a history that when them abolish slavery, them get the planters them. 20 million pounds for compensate them for the loss of, of revenue that they would have to get if them still have the slave them. 
So them give them 20 million pound. We are talking about Jamaica now. Because that me learn in our history. Them give them 20 million pound. But did you know? Because it's, 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 it's a slave trade. Them abolish, you know, it's not slavery. It's a slave trade. Them abolish, not slavery. Now I want the people them know which has come to light now and we give thanks for the reparation committee for bring this after researching and researching. Did you know that even though the United Kingdom refused to apologize for slavery was paying off debt up to 2015 for slavery was paying money to the people them who last out up to 2015 which is three years ago 15 16 17 two years ago money was being paid out of the coffers of the british government they must pay money listen to this and september i remember so when 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 cameron come here you know him said we must forget about it you know and what if a Jamaican people never realize a Cameron family benefit of a slave and slave labor? The same man who come here and tell us they must forget about slavery because them think they're a long time thing. And on September the twentieth, sorry, up to the thirtieth, twenty fifteen, when Prime Minister David Cameron of Great Britain and Northern Ireland addressed the Jamaican Parliament and told the people of the island and region that slavery was a long time ago and that it was time black people get over it. These are the exact words they use. We must get over slavery. He was not speaking the truth. He was speaking the greatest falsehood of the modern era in respect of the crime of British slavery. He must have known the truth. The truth now reveals that his government in 2015, this is when him come here, you know, him come here in, a, in, in, in a September the 30th, 2015, and start this thing. He was not speaking the truth. The truth now reveals that his government in 2015 was still paying off the slavery abolition loan of 1834. Which one have we born 1834? Me never born 1834. Me no buyer never born 1834. Because me am buyer, me older than buyer. <laughs> you understand? Imagine this, you know. The British was paying off slavery loan from 1834 and the loan them paid off, finished paying it off in 2015. Slavery loan we are talking about. The British people was paying money to pay off a loan that was granted in 1834 and them done pay it off in 2015. And the guy come here, the camera and come here, come tell us they must forget about slavery. You know? Meanwhile, he wrote in the same 2015, him come here, in the same 2015, them, 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 them pay off the money. Historians have now got to the bottom of the financial crime. They have revealed the shocking news that British paid the last installment of the 1834 slavery abolition loan on the 15th of February 2015. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Six months before Cameron come here. The British government finished pay off abolish a, a slavery abolition loan. What is the slavery abolition loan? Is to compensate the loss of revenue to the slave masters. The revelation speaks to the persistent dishonesty of British governments and the Prime Minister about the system of African enslavement as a distant event. In other words, them want make a feel it's a long time thing. We, we must forget about it. It's a long time thing. 2015 is not a long time. A remote history with no connection and relevance to the present. This persistent lie 
was exposed by the evidence from the majesty's treasury where's this information I come from this information coming from her majesty's treasury which shows that the slavery loan was several times refinanced and finally paid off just three years ago people i want to listen to this number because i'm not going to stop you inspiring for me now we're not going to stop you inspiring for me come in on cabo i'm going to pick it up say it and she's going to say it again and again and again and me going to keep saying it they were paying money slavery loan up to 15th of february 2015 this is something them tell us that we must forget about. That them think they have a long time. This revelation speaks to... All right. All right, yes. Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, who is also an economic historian, revealed that research into the archives of the Bank of England, His Majesty's Treasury, and the Rothschild Merchant Bank, shows that successive recent listen to this successive recent british prime ministers especially tony blair and david cameron have sought to deceive the caribbean people and the matter what the hell jamaican government is going to say and do now how we are michael talking not as a government man but as an individual about the issue they have refused to enter into reparation conversations with the caribbean and have covered up the truth in order to make the argument that slavery was in a distant past hence not subject to reparation claims the truth is that british governments refinanced the slave loan for over 150 years in order to financially benefit from slavery right under our very nose this is shameful and disgraceful deception of the caribbean people the african world and the uk's own citizens in other words the, the citizens of england have been paying money to the the, the his majesty treasury department in order to finance a slavery loan in order to pay off a bill that them did have that them pay these people from 1834 it is unimaginable that until 2015 ordinary people in britain including black people were still repaying the slave abolition loan which equaled over listen to this listen to this it is imaginable <laughs> that until 2015, when I talk about when I talk about 18 something now, when everybody was upon the earth now, we big for absence. Did burn them time there? Yes. It is unimaginable that until 2015 ordinary people in britain including black people were still repaying the slave abolition loan which equaled over 20 billion in today's money which equaled 20 billion in today's money this is the people them who when we talk about reparation you know, them say and them are black people them have black people actually say the same thing. Them have black people that talk about when I, when I beg the, 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 the queen, this and I beg the queen that and all them something there. It's not a begging because they must pay, they must pay reparation money to the rotten. Hey, I'm going to cut All right, I'm going to cut some I'm going to keep that for the, the what they are now. The most distinguishing part of it is that the 300,000 workers working west indians in england have been taxed the most sorry the most disgusting part of it is that the three hundred thousand working west indians in england 
have been taxed to repay the slavery loan which enriched the enslavers owners and the descendants right into the present day right to the present day white people in a england who is descendant from these owners of slaves like cameron and him friend them is still reaping the benefits from our ancestors slavery that them have in a slavery to 2015 this is a horrible reality to accept and the british government must apologize for the lies and the deception and sit down with the caribbean states to discuss the reparation agenda which with immediate effect we want the people them in england pick up this argument you know we want the people them pick up this argument you know, because that's a serious thing every west indian taxpayer in britain who are descendants of the enslaved must demand accountability and repayment that the government of britain and the and the rich who held the slavery band bonds cashed in on its refinancing from the 1830s to today is an international immorality of the highest order only reparation can cleanse the crime from the face of our societies both the caribbean and the british people must demand justice we stand together against the deceptive the politics only reparation can repair this horrible crime in our communities We don't want to believe that or we don't want to believe it. We don't want to believe it or I don't want to believe it. This is a fact. His Majesty's Treasury does not know its own country. It's true. His Majesty's Treasury should have said end slavery. Ah, see what I just said a while ago, you know, without even looking upon the paper. Them never end slavery. Them end the slave trade. Them at the slave trade, them is not slavery, them stop. Because the slave trade start to become of a burden to them. It's not because them love black people, why them stop it. It's because it was not financially viable again. You know, when something not financially viable, even though you had it for long, you decide to why it's not viable again, I'm going to stop it. But when them stop it, them realize that they have put certain people out of business. Some white people, them have put out a business. So what them do now, them say, all right. Here what we're going to do. We're going to compensate you. So them start to take taxpayers' money from England, taxpayers' money, and any one of them colony where was British colony, including Jamaica, them start to take that money to repay the slave owners because them stop the slave trade and we are told that when when them claim say slavery did abolish them still have slave them still have ship and take people from africa come on yeah, so years after them still have people that take, take come on yeah, so. so it's not the slave trade it's not the slavery them stop them don't be that business about the people them is the economic situation that create the burden to them now. It become an economic burden to them now. So they will have to stop that trade. The loan was borrowed in 1835. The Slave Trade Abolition Act was passed in 1807. Almost three decades before enslavers were paid 20 million pounds in compensation money at the end of slavery in 1835. Living British citizens did not help to end the slave trade in other words white people british people citizens never help for end the slave trade the chancellor of the exchequer george osborne announced october 31 2014 that the government would pay off part of the nation's first world war debt as part of a redemption part of redemption bonds stretching as far back as the 18th century in addition to the war bonds some of the debt being repaired in redeeming four percent consoles dates as far back as the 18th century in 1853 the chancellor gladstone 
consolidated among other things the capital stock of the South Sea Company originating in 1711, which had collapsed in the infamous South Sea bubble financial crisis in 1720 and in 1888. Chancellor George Goshen converted bonds first issued in 1752 and subsequently used to finance the Napoleonic and Crimean's war. The Slavery Abolition Act 1835 and the Irish Distress Loan 1847 this debt will be repaid through the redemption of the 4% consuls. These debts, according to UK Treasury, were redeemed on February the 1st, 2015. What a serious thing, people. The British taxpayers, many of whom are descendants of Africans, help to finance the interest payments and a debt that largely went to the socially and politically connected few in 1835. According to a report in The Guardian, most of the bonds are owned by small investors of the 11,200 registered holders, 7,700 investors own less than £1,000 nominal. And 92% of holders own less than £10,000 each. What this shows is the intergenerational link with slavery, which is something we argue all the while. We say we know, say, the people them who own the place them now never burn them time them, but them is benefiting from the degradation, from the the shuttle slavery that bind our ancestors and still bind we today. We are still traumatized by slavery. When people say we can't, we, we, we're lazy, it's lie them telling. What do you mean lazy? We're not lazy. The conditions is not suitable for us to live in. And we have that, we have that legacy of slavery still holding us. Governments, one type of governments come because they need rape. Them rape way. We're not talking about physical rape, no like how them rape women and rape man. Because yes, the men them used to rape our men in those times. We're not talking about that kind of rape. We're talking about economical rape. Rape. Them rape the country. Them rape the people them politically and economically. And then now them tell us that we can't run with things. And you have, them are black people. We are get up and say these things. That black people can't run business. Because people are saying, look at the Chinaman. The Chinaman they never got to no start slavery. They must say, oh, white people come here so I can get over. Because they never got to no start slavery. And the majority of Jamaican people go through that. And to think that we were spearing the people them. <laughs> was Did you know that the French government when the Fra when France did have a Lego 80, did you know that the Asian people was paying reparation money, compensation to the French for, for nearly a hundred years? I just said that day, them stopped paying, you know. And then you remember when the president of France, the, the, the preacher one, get up and say, Watch, you know, enough is enough. When they have to do, have to run, come at Jamaica, end up at South Africa. Because it was daring to say that is France should appear here to reparation, not the other way around. Now these are the things that is reality, you know. It's reality, you know. It's not we have said that because we want to say it. It's historical reality. You enslave a man for how much years? And now you are come tell him, say, because now him used to, you used to work for him free. You are telling him now, say, boy, all right, now, here and now. You see, true, me, I'm going to let you go now. You have to go pay me, you know. And that was happening too. There was a kind of apprenticeship team that we didn't know about, the apprenticeship team, where when them let go the African, them, them say, all right, here, what you going to do now? Work for maybe a two or three years without pay. And then that will work off. Where would that make off for you? <laughs> you are telling me, Rasta. Mm. So I'm going to tell you now, some of the, some of the business place them, we're still 
and we was part of that loan agreement and we did still a benefit half of this thing here. One, Barclays Bank. You want to hear me say? Barclays Bank. Citigroup Global Markets Limited. Goldman Sachs International Bank. Jeffries International Limited. Lloyds Bank. Mark and Stanley and Company International. Nomura International. Santander Global Banking and Markets UK. The Toronto Dominion Bank. London Branch. Winter Flood Securities Limited. BNP Paribas London Branch. Dutch Bank AG London Branch. HSBC Bank. JP Morgan Securities. Merrill Lynch International. Northwest Markets. Royal Bank of Canada Europe Limited. Scotia Bank Europe. UBS. Limited. These companies, these banks have been profiting and has gained riches and wealth from the devastation of a race. And most of us here now domicile on these farmers slave plantation island. Not recognizing that part of the problem. And a whole people will argue it too, but it's a reality. Part of the reason why we find ourselves so not progressing as how we should progress is because we were deliberately held down economically, socially, politically, and spiritually by these people who their children are living today and is benefiting from the slavery of our ancestors, the enslavement of our ancestors and the wealth of their parents. Like, as we said, Cameron, who became the president, the prime minister of England, his family had slaves here. His family have slaves here. Slaves here. And if I'm not mistaken, somebody can call me and correct me. I think they're about 200 odd slaves. So, our call for reparation is a just cause. Our call for reparation is a just cause. And we need to make the people them understand these things, these things, very important. That it's not a long time thing. When you hear people are talking about yeah, but them tears they gone. What time we move on? Move on where? Them never move on. Up to 2015, them never move on. 2015, that is three years ago. Up to 2015, these people never move on. So all the hell, somebody will come and come tell we must move on. All them have black people. Black people. What disrespect them ancestors now. I come tell we say, look here, how they make a mount, mountain over a molding. Them things they gone a long time, you know. Make we move on. Then why them never why them no move on? Secretly and connivingly round the corner. Them a dish out loans and a hand out loans and a send out money and all them something there. From the Treasury Department in England. Them a do all of these things. And them know what them a do. Them know what them a do. So if them know what them a do and know say, well, why we have to get this thing done, you know, and by 2015 it's done. February 2015 it done. Six months after them president, them prime minister come in and say, look you now, get over it. As a matter of fact, you're going to know. We're going to help you to build out of prison. Or we're going to get over that. We're not going to get over it. We're not going to get over it, you know. Same like how oh, I'm going to buy a motor. So my, I asked the reason I'm going to the gun killing in Jamaica. I said, that's so done, man. You think that's going to last forever? You think say, all of them gun shooting and things are going to last forever? You're mad if you think that. I'm mad you mad if you think say, 
All of them killing where you see I go on every day in a Jamaica. One thousand are more dead now. This year, in the first two months, they are more dead now than last year. Me not, me, me know, me not think, me know that now the last favor. I mean, I talk about in a next man lifetime neither. Me I talk about my lifetime. Come in and wait for God and come back here, so you know. I hurt you where I work with. We used to see like how me know, say, them criminality the way you see I go on a Jamaica, now nah, go last favor. And some me know, say, reparation is a just cause and black people must get reparation. Must. They will, they think that's what I go all the while. They think Jesus will come back here, so, when we in a this suffering and a degradation, Jesus better hold on. We have to get our peace first. Just like the apple when they pan the, the computer. Peace of the apple. We have to get our peace of apple too. We have to buy the other part of the apple. We can't make white people buy it one side and everybody will look on the apple so. We have to buy it too. And how we have to buy it? We have to wake up. We have to slumber and sleep too much. And I go and like things right and wrong and right and wrong and right and wrong. Wrong and right work out for people who are dealing with sin. I saw you get wrong and right, you know. Most of the people that here talk about righteousness. Them talk about righteousness because every day they might think wicked. Then if you are talk about righteousness, you know, must talk about wickedness. If you are talk about God, you know, must talk about the devil. And most of the Christian people, them, them they talk about devil more than God because they tell you about you born in a fire and born in a this and born in a that. Before them talk about life, them are talk about death. Me a woman sit on the TV said she no go a dance, she go a funeral. <laughs> a bleach as at that, you know. No one So what you think about this? Look at now, yo. Me no go a dance, you know, me go a funeral. Can you imagine that? And they said reach the black people. But it never work out so on the while. No, sir. We have to get our peace to man. Where's the buyer? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. We have to get our peace, man. We can't just sit here and go on so all the while. This is the cutting edge on RFM. Yes, this is the cutting edge on RFM. Very revealing articles to really bring to the attention of the British people, them, and we hope say all the people, them, in England, who is of like like mine can draw a whole heap of interest around this thing where we just talk about. It's not a joke business. It's not a joke business. It's a deception beyond deception. You see, this let me for believe. You see, every conspiracy theory where as it relates to England as I know me accept it as real. Because this is a this is a this this, this is like a, a deception at the highest level. This is a deception at its highest level. Yeah, man. A serious thing. Serious thing. That we are told to forget it. Because it's a long time. Yet still your government is involved in compensation up to 2015. <laughs> and not tell we must forget it. Slavery is still in effect. Politically and spiritually, especially the spiritual part. We need to put the conditions of African people in this part of the world, yeah, man. We're sick, but we don't know so we're sick. Because we think say ignorance is bliss. Most of the time, ignorance is stupidity. Because information they they fake grasp. And we refuse to really accept this information because we are so engulfed in a the European logics and the European definition of self. That is scary when we see ourselves. Scary. That's why we have to figure out how we are everywhere possible to fix ourselves. That it we don't look like ourselves. Because we have to fix ourselves and look like Europeans. Because in time we see ourselves naturally. It's like we see Dracula. Believe you me, it's like we live in the monster's house. The Adams family owes. When we see ourselves. Because we see ourselves like Adams family. Scary the ratted. That is why we do all sorts of things. We get rid of the things them where naturally is we. And when we find a spirituality that defines us, we shun it too. 
We shun it. When we find that spiritual is not defined us, we shun it. That's why the Indian them can't come here so now and start to grab way spiritually now. Start showing so them can't make you get visa. You know, long ago, man, I tell people so them can't make man get visa. You know, like, the same thing when the man them tell them, the same thing the Indian them come tell them now. What gets what? It's a foreign thing. It will be acceptable. It will be acceptable. Because it's always there. We get caught up in on something else other than with self. Look how long Rastafari in there show them things and I show this and I show that. And people scan Mac Jerry. We the most scanned and Mac people in Jamaica. We is the most scanned and Mac people in Jamaica. Yet still, it will appear that we have become now the building, not even the cornerstone. Because the stone that the builder refused, it seems as if now it's become the building. Barry Shevansi said Rastafari is the memory of the Jamaican people. It is the Rastafari bridging and Switzerland to remind the Jamaican people that them is African and them have a different worldview. That them have to wake up to this worldview. That we are institutions. We are places of learning long before Europeans and Arabs go to Africa. Our history never start when them bring across us so. When you hear some people that talk about it's a local thing, they bring African cross and so I should have still the Africa I run up and down naked. It's madness. It's madness. African wear the most clothes. You ever see an African king yet? From all in some West African country. You ever see a chief? You ever see one of them chief in Africa? We are tell some youth that say Africa is the only place that you have primitive man and modern man. There's no other continent you go and see primitive, modern. Prim I'm going to say primitive, we are talking about primitive. Like the man they just make. Like the Bushman, them. In you know, Namibia and South Africa, they look like them just make. Like them come right out of the, what they call it, in the beginning, God created man in his own image. The man they look like them kind of man there. According to what they must say. And then now you have the, the emperor and the kings and the chief of Africa. When you look on cloud, on top of cloud, on top of cloud, to wrap them. You have hot. And you have palaces. You have frankincense. And you have gold and diamond. And then you know frankincense was once the trading link. One time frankincense in Africa is more precious than gold. Them used to trade that cross into Arabia there, into Yemen and all these places. So, we know Africa existed thousands of years before any Europeans come, they come go like them and them run the world. Because most of the little things they want you see, they about you. So, if you check invention, science and technology, a whole heap of them things here, yeah. a simple thing like all a stoplight, it's a black man create that. You know, light bulb and all them till they went out about Edison and all them something there. A black man first got through that and recognized that. So, we don't know. African people have to wake up. This is the cutting edge on RFM. I have a bridging inside us. So. Crucial Banky and Baya. You know, Crucial Banky, you hear we play music them couple about a two months you now where I play the music and in my past show from St. Kitts man from St. Kitts you know this is a reggae month also reggae month and more time we are talking about reggae we are talking about where white people take away reggae and white people do this you have some people in the Caribbean where I play the reggae to you know when I get no no, no, no them knowing I will eyesight we let them know in our eyesight because all we are concentrated upon is this is a white man who has played reggae over this one, this is a white man who has played reggae. So you have some man in the Caribbean, yeah, Virgin Islands, you them were well popular too. You know, see, you have some Virgin Island brethren and sistering where I play reggae music. It's brethren crucial banky 
Send kids. A long time we have him see you know, but this one you kind of impress me more still. Believe you me, we are going to talk to him because it's music month and we don't really hear them emphasize black people who are playing reggae in the Caribbean, near way. You know, we are like hear about Hawaii and you know, England reggae and German reggae, Germans who are playing reggae. Gentleman and gentlewoman and gentle pick me and all them something like that. And we are here about all these white people who play reggae. Alba Rossi and all, all, and all these people. You never hear any emphasis made on African people in the Caribbean who are make the reggae music. You know see it? I, 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 I don't know what happened. None of them, the panel of them reggae, what them call them. Black is black, black is reggae month symposiums and reggae this and reggae that. You know see it? We say we say um where name there? Radigan pass with the day. No respect still, but really and truly. Really and truly, you know? The same old, same old all the while. We not lick against Radigan, but we don't say, Why well, am to the man them who the dead before Radigan? Who oh, did I project the music on a higher level? But not because them are Rasta and African, them kind of get round the corner business. Warm to all the Virgin Island youth, them. You know, we we'll go out there and take the world by storm. What do you put them about? You know, you have man from Trinidad. Why are you look my bridging? My poet bridging from them time there. You know, it's, it's like. Anyway, we so come to it. We got go to the lady, Pat Clark, and come for out to this bridging. We were supposed to have an interview, but anytime they're ready, we will, we will talk to the bridging and then talk to them. Cutting edge. As we observe Black History Month, we have been reflecting on national pride. Acclaimed Jamaican novelist Victor Stafford Reed wrote a song full of patriotism and national pride. It was composed with the aim of preparing the youth for nationhood after Jamaica gained independence in 1962. I pledge my heart forever to serve with humble pride this shining homeland ever so long as earth abide. I pledge my heart this island as God and faith shall live, my work, my strength, my love, and my loyalty to give. O oh, green isle of the Indies, Jamaica, strong and free, our vows and loyal promises, O oh, heartland, tis to thee. The words of the national song were inspired by the British song, I Vow to Thee My Country, and was composed to be sung at schools and at civic occasions. In order to engender nationalism, the national awards and honors were also devised. The honor of the Order of Merit, OM, may be conferred upon any citizen of Jamaica or distinguished citizen of a country other than Jamaica, an honorary member, who has achieved imminent international distinction in the field of science, the arts, literature, or any other endeavor. It is not conferred upon more than two persons in any one year. The motto of the order is, he that does truth comes into the light, and a member of the order is styled the honorable. The insignia or the symbol of the Order of Merit is a collar badge suspended from a deep maroon silk ribbon. The six armed with enameled star with 12 points has superimposed on it a lesser similarly shaped star in silver. Between each of the outer six points of the star is the blue lignum vitae flower of Jamaica. In the center is the coat of arms of Jamaica in gold on a contrasting silver background surrounded by the motto of the order in gold lettering on red enamel.
The two entertainers who have been conferred the RFM Lifetime Achievement Award thus far are also recipients of the Order of Merit. They are the Honorable James Chambers, popularly known as Jimmy Cliff, and the Honorable Neville O'Reilly Livingston, affectionately known as Bunny Whaler or Jabby. If we should live by the words of our national song, our island would be an even more beautiful place. National honors would be easily obtained. Honors such as the Badge of Honor, which may be awarded to civilian residents of Jamaica. There are three categories of this honor. The Badge of Honor for Gallantry, awarded to persons who have performed acts of gallantry and acts of heroism or who have shown great courage in circumstances of extreme danger. The Badge of Honor for Meritorious Service, awarded to persons who have rendered loyal and meritorious service beneficial to Jamaica. And the Badge of Honor for Long and Faithful Service, awarded to persons who have rendered long and valuable service worthy of special recognition. The insignia or symbol of the Badge of Honor is made of silver and is circular in design, bearing on the front of the badge the coat of arms of Jamaica with lignum vitae trees and flowers around the border. On the reverse of the badge are the words for gallantry, for meritorious service, or for long and faithful service as the case may be, with the name of the recipient and the date of the award. And now to end Jamaican roots and culture, here's our famous quotation from the Black Diaspora. History is a clock that people use to tell their time of day. It is a compass they use to find themselves on the map of human geography. It tells them where they are and what they are. The words of John Henry Clark. For Jamaican roots and culture, I'm Pat Clark. Yeah, that was Pat Clark, Jamaican Roots and Culture. This is the Cutting Edge on RFM. You know, you have been hearing us playing this song from last year, and guess what? We have the bridging at the studio with the Hill Up Bridging. Yes, I have motor respect. You can say for a year, yeah, so. Yeah, motor respect. All right, so tell me something. How long are you there? In Jamaica. Eh? I've been living in Jamaica. Whatever, whatever. We have to get more, we have to get more volume out there, yeah, so. Go on, talk now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, no, no. Connecting, connecting. Yeah, yeah, your voice, <laughs> your voice, so like my voice. <laughs> your voice, so like my voice. Like many water, many thunders. Uh -huh. All right. We are saying now, we are asking how long you are there in Jamaica. I've been living in Jamaica during the CSME for about two years now. You know. You're there in Jamaica two years? Yeah, man. So which part of the album are there when me just get it? Since, you know, well, actually, I was um, after I did the CM CSME in um, fifteen. I went to Europe. I was in Europe for about one year. So in the meantime, you know, we did some recording in, in uh, Bradford with a very good bridge in our mind, Mr. Roman Price. Uh, we finished up the album and then we came back to Jamaica in August of this year to kind okay, you know okay. promotion and you know. All right, so let me ask you a question now. You listen, you listen to the real thing when I read a while ago? Yes, man. Oh, 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 the I see. What do I take on it? Well, it, <laughs> means that's a legal mind, but it's criminal. I mean, it, 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 things like these is, is, is starting to be... We have to start look at this thing like crime against humanity. We just can't approach it just like something very simple. And, and, and we have to unite and file complaint in the United Nations against these... This whole slave driver. Well, you know, say, me know we had a bridge and just WhatsApp me a conversation about petition that something had happened in terms of people are galvanized and a rally around. Yes, thing. yes. There is some, it's, it's something worth to rallying around right now, especially at, at this point in yeah, time. Yeah, All right. In a St. Kitts, the guy come from St. Kitts. Yes, right? yes. Reggae music is a big deal over there. Or big, big, the big deal. Huge world. deal. We have a yearly festival that keeps um, in the last um, week of June. Uh, I think it's one of the best festivals right now. I mean, bar none, because we have a variety. I think this year they're having Patti LaBelle and Sizzler and uh, Spice. And, you know, I mean, the lineup is just awesome this year. You know, one, the last time I come over there was me and 
Black Stalin. Yes. In a square. Me remember that yes, man, that was an African liberation. African liberation. Day. Yes. You did it? Yes, I was in. I was in. Yeah, me yes, I'm black. I'm dead now, though, don't you? I think so. I think yeah, he did drop out. Yes. A black Stalin, man. Mighty, mighty. Mighty Calypsonian, man. All right. Some so you said reggae, reggae gets its full share of play in a. In yes, a, in St. Kitts. And, and, and you know, the youth them with the dance hall, I mean, and, but, you know, it just, you know, it's the most popular thing right now. All right. So let me ask you a question, you know. The I start record. In a St. Kitts, as when they left St. Kitts and got Europe, I, was part I started recording in 1983. Matter, matter of fact, my first recording was done in Philip Smart Studio in Long Island, the late Philip Smart. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, and then my first album recorded in 1985 with Light Parks and Harry J. Studio. Remember an album where you make a good little while now, you know? Yeah, that be shake down. I, I, I think yeah, I, have, I'm actually walk with a copy, walk with a you copy. Walk with a copy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I say, you know, so I have to walk with this copy for remind mind mood. <laughs> yeah, because I remember the idea, I think I was about to be in. Oh, I remember which part of the album, you know, say, I went last week, I searched for the album still, you know. Seen. Because yeah. I can't myself, I love that tune, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a nice album, because I play about two more tunes or five, but that one, yeah, me play more than the other one. Yeah, man, right. Yeah, man. But me I say about we But me don't know that you channel know the voice. I mean I say you a big man. <laughs> <laughs> I know that big man I'm I mean I search for the album like can't yeah, find the album. So yeah. that's it. Maybe how much album there I have? Maybe about five albums. Right but maybe now. I don't know the one where I have bring me that. I think I that it might be shaped down, you know, because I I that's the one that me know say me give you. Oh, you didn't give me many many years. Yeah, when, when, me, when me, <laughs> no, you, the, the amount I see the people that give you a motor. <laughs> you could have run a shop right now. No, we are meet you already. Yes, man. Nine ninety-seven. What? Ninety-seven in a Kingston. Me meet you in a Kingston. Yes, man. Have, you give me a CD. Yes, man. You did have a business that go on them time there. Yeah, me have a, yes. yeah, me have a, me have a store. Yeah. You know, say, mother, give a telephone book for lick me and I made with it. No, serious thing, no. Because total, I'm no, serious. Because, you know, you say, it's, you know, your music sound to me like, you did a record a long time, so you can't hear the elements of real music in it. For yeah. me, personally. Yeah, you hear man. the real music. Yeah. So, it show me, say, you did a record a long time, so, when me I try to dig up the album now, the CD back now, because me I said, no, but me know that Virginia Rasta. Me have a, I know Big Ear tell me, say, I have a CD with you for a long time too, you know. See. When me give Big Ear that, that CD, I you know, him say, yeah, man, me know the Virginia, I have, have, have a CD by him too, but, but I, it, it just, it just amazing that yeah. things come forward, full cycle, 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 full cycle, yeah. cycle yes, I am. All right, let me ask about Send Kids, because I'm really interested in that Send Kids. Send Kids, Seem to be like not as much as Jamaica because St. Kitts, I don't know, big country. Yeah. But the crime rate seems that it kind of a spiral it, yeah, under control yeah, over yes. the This, <laughs> Hence, that's the, 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 the reason for the, the track genocide plan. Oh, so you're singing for St. Kitts? Not, not generally for St. Kitts, but it's something that we're looking at in the Caribbean. And we're seeing that this trend is really spreading through the Caribbean like wildfire. And we have to kind of highlight it and bring it to the fore because as musicians and songwriters, I think that is one of our duty. I think it's we bound, you know, by our conscience to kind of put this kind of material on the forefront. Yeah. So it, it bothers you all the music, the trend where the music are taking in terms of where most of the youth them are listening to. It bothers you? Well, a lot of the messages, you know, the, the, the trend of the music, the song, we know so the youth them have them more than like a thing where them are do. But we we kinda take certain exception is what they're saying, you know, and, and what they're promoting, you know, what they're gravitating to, you know, because it's a very important thing, you know. Um some some people say, Why them, them is not a role model and rare, but trust me, you see music is propaganda and if you say it enough you might just wind up do it. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. That, that is the best way to get cross a message. And it, right, I'm telling you, especially it, it, with the youth, them. It catch you, you don't even know it. It catch you, yeah. Not, not 
to hear near me. No, I said, I said, I leave St. Kitts and I tour Europe. Yeah, um, I was in Sardinia. Um, in, and then we was in um, England, in Birmingham. For most of the time, um, I was working on this new, on the jukebox album. The album, yeah. 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 Well, you know, say, you ever, you ever book in England yet? Tell I, me no, you know, because I, if you tell me yes. I've seen you, you the I've, book, see, book I've seen you in England. Oh, but you never meet me there. No, no, no. Oh, I've got plans to make me make the telephone book. You know, if you actually book in England, I'm going to remember. All right. The eye, as I said, sound like a bridge with, oh, have a feel of the reggae and given that the reggae come from Yasso. Anybody ever look at Yasso? Oh, you're going like a drum maker, you're not coming from <laughs> I can give you a quick, a quick scenario. When I released Slaughter on JVC on the television station back then in 96, um, there was an argument on the campus as to whether we are from, you know. Is, is is this guy a Jamaica land? And there was a big argument with the students them from Saint Kitts and the Jamaican students them and them them almost come to blows. Because yeah, because <laughs> so I yeah, man, I tell him say you, know, you, 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 you are idiot, move. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm going. laughs> Nobody knows sing reggae, so we're not from around here. Most time when you yeah, talk to a one from the island, them them have an accent. But you know, no, you know, no, Caribbean. I think you yeah. see me live in America 21 years, and, and oh, you, you know that. Yeah, I uh, went to school in America in the Bronx and we finished oh, high so school. You're New York, come on. Well, basically. You're New York, come on. You don't come from St. Kitts again, man. You might have to get lucky with me, you don't have the pressure to say just. I come from St. Kitts, but a long time ago, I said kids. A good while now, a few no. years, a couple of years, I don't want to go to Like, when's a couple of years ago? Well, since I've, 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 I've been to St. Kitts uh, last festival, last year. You got to St. Kitts last year? Yeah, to do festival. So where's your family there? My family is in St. Kitts home, is in New York and Canada, you know, spread out around the place. You have children and I have some family kids? No, one son, my first son. How much have you have? Uh, two. How much have you have? No, yet. <laughs> Muta no easy. It's a reggae artist, a reggae about this. But we'll find, say, and we are telling this again. we find, say, when we talk about reggae month in a Jamaica, it is good that we emphasize the Jamaican product. And anytime we talk outside of Jamaica now, we go to America. So most of the time you hear an artist get big up is from America or England. But we are. We know that there's artists in the Caribbean where make an impression on the reggae scene internationally. We you never really hear them on Jamaican, Jamaican radio station yet. You know, you never hear them attack, or you never hear them give opinion or nothing. You know, Vaughn is one of them brothers there. From, from, um, see, from Midnight. Yes. One of the biggest. Reggae group. You, you know, so some of them you there from St. Kitts. And I think some of them, some of them, yeah. Yeah. But Vana from Virgin. Virgin Island. He, yeah, he yes. changed the name now. He changed the name of the group now. Okay. He have his own thing at Guan. But I you have a sister name. Um, oh, gosh, man. You have a whole heap of them, you know. You have a whole heap of yeah, them. Man, but pressure bus pipe and pressure you know, him yes. come on here to come make a Love name and affection, yes, man. Yeah, he come on here to come make a name for himself. Um, but really and truly, you, you, I'm seeing on the boat, too, you know. In the depth and the cruise, you know, and tear down the place. You know. Yeah, man, it's like the people, you know, the people, them, them know them over there, and them actually buy them ticket before the hurricane come, you know. Mm. So even though the hurricane match on the place, and we see a whole heap of people from Virginia, we ask about it. Oh, hurricane match on the place, and them find money for coming, so. Only for years, they didn't buy the ticket before the hurricane. Ah, uh, so, in advance. <laughs> yes. That did kind of break the. The, the, the feeling yeah man that little the yeah, feeling yeah of going on in a virgin island so pressure bus pipe now in the dip on the show I me mean, i tell you man yeah, them man, support him them. seriously ah yeah man them support him seriously so maybe the next time you dip on the pool you go here up and send people from send kids dip on the boat so, so we are playing this show now and it's black history month with reggae month you know them really there and we have a virgin island studio from send kids name crucial bank we just play a tune by him but Bridget, you see that next junior? 
As a cover version of uh, 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 the Beatles show. Yeah. And I uh, love it. I love how the eye do it still. See, see. I put the one stamp on it. Why Why did I do that one as a cover? Because it looks like it's on the cover tune on it, don't it? Yeah. And you know what I say? I'm a Bridget Roman is who forced me to sing that song now. Yeah, there, you know. He literally forced me. He said, Banky, you have to change, man. You can't go hard, man. You have to mellow up on this one. I mean, I, I, I said, sing it that way, man. <laughs> I, mean, I like how the eyes sing it, say, because I mean, know the tune. Actually, when it finished now. Oh, they didn't have them ear right there, but I didn't know that tune. Yeah. Thing, you know, so, you know, the eyes sing it till. I'm going to play it. Here goes. I make album international as a deal with different topics. Yes. You know, like localize uh, your team. Yeah. You know, your, your team them wide. Yeah. Most artists just stick to them area where them see, come from. See, you know them there. But yeah. I know they say the eye. Maybe it's because the eye has the eye say they like tour Europe and live in England and live in America. Yeah, and that's why the eye the eye, the eye say that. Because really that thing about human cargo. It's a serious thing, you know. The migrant. Migrants play, that's the name of the truth. Which one are the which one are the this the, the migrant situation influence that truth? Yeah. Libya, especially in Libya. Because I've been to Sardinia, Libya, especially in Libya. Because I've been to Sardinia um, last year, December, and Sardin Which place you go? Sardinia. Sardinia is a, is, a, is a little island where run by Italy, you know, in the Mediterranean. Yeah. And that is one of the places where I have a problem with migrants. And also Italy have a serious problem and you know say France with Calais and you know. So it's it's a it's a real serious issue. You know. But we ask you a question now, because they are like send kids and this are Jamaica. And they are seem to, to tour a lot of places. Why they are, they, they are never did see it fit for really bus out in a Jamaica? Why, why, why it takes so long for the eye really come round to Jamaica? Well, I can tell you that a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons is when I man start recording certain music, the music change. You know, like like dance and just come and take over the whole thing and the youth, new generation. So it cause man to kind of kind of easy back and go and record still what the whole material until you know say like you said things come full cycle. We used to say the music start forward again, where you, you, you find positive music, get a ear play, get a listen. You know, people are pay attention to the positive sound. Youths like Chronics coming through and Kavaka Pyramid, the new one, them set a youth there. So the, the thing kind of take a different trend again to where we know say as the, the roots. You know, so. We choose this time, but not that I never perform. I perform in Jamaica already, Sunsplash 86, and again in 88. And I think I did some things with Bonnie Wheelers back in the 90s on Nature Farm, you know. So, yeah, yeah, Cap Superman to go be yeah, you know, send me it up there, yeah, man, send it up there, man, yeah, man, a beautiful place. Oh, God, beautiful place, man. Who are you, love, Dogo, you know. <laughs> Why you look a joke like Dogo, you know? You look Dogo! <laughs> you think they will forget you and him, that place the man, sweet. Sweet. Remember, man, born away like perform up there. Yes, yes. Nice, man, yes. You can see yes. Them so, there, yeah, you look me too. There. Yes, man, I actually yeah, perform on that show. You deserve you to leave me in a minute with that, that way. <laughs> two <laughs> telephone <laughs> book, Bridget. No, I tell you. Bye. Hey, bye. If that's bye, I can raise your pillow. Yes, man. Because right now. All the way up no, may I tell you, then the, I, the, I, the, the, the idea, the idea, the other place there, the idea from Sun's Plot. Yeah, man, 86, dance all night. Eh? That was a very memorable night because it's the first time. The party, yes, man, I mean, we <laughs> feel the party. Bonnie Wheeler's, I mean, you know, the honorable, you know, Bonnie Wheeler, you know, that same night, he performed in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, ram up the place, man. Well, but may I ask you know, all right, so you tour Europe. More yeah. So you did the England. How much years did you say the England? No, no, I was here for about one year. How much years did you say the Europe? It was between Europe and England. Yeah. You know, so and then you did America for one year. 
we are did school years, so I did like 21 years in, in America. And then you come back to Jamaica now. So, yeah. when you go back to St. Kitts, I decide you now go back to St. Kitts. Well, when them give me some work down there, I just go mash it and come in, yeah, man. <laughs> right, now I penetrate your heart, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Me like the revolution of the music we are going on right now. Yeah, right now. Yes, yes. I have to the root there. Yes, man. I mean, I have to hold the root. Yeah, this is the cutting edge on RFM. We hear the advertisement there about <coughs> check up and all. It's not me, I do the check up, you know, I want to know that. So all the ladies, them, they'll come out there and want me to check up. And I said, it's not me doing the checkup. Them going to have doctors and all these kind of people out there checking up the people, them blood pressure and diabetes and them thing there. And see if you have any lump in your breast that is protruding cancer. Because nowadays, as a woman have a lump in the breast, so no, you know, more than likely it's cancer. So you need to all check it if you see any lump. We look away. Don't feel says show your bridge in the lap. Feel, feel it up. Why it swell up? You understand? Maybe it's cancer. I show itself. So you need to check up. Very important. Check up is very important and vital. Some people afraid of doctor, you know. All me, I'm afraid of doctor like what? But guess what now? When you reach all my age, that's what now, you know. Trust me, man. Doctor become your best friend. <laughs> doctor become your best friend. <laughs> when you reach all my age, I know because after you reach far, you know, I tell you, it re you reach far because my age, me can't see that reach far. You understand? So, yes, you're more susceptible now to different things. Susceptible to different things, you understand? So, you have to just work out your life and you have to know, say, well, I look at the doctor around there so you can't call all them over there. You understand? Because I mean, everybody check again, you know. I don't want to check again and I go like say, I have some doctor for myself. No, I passed them stage at all. I left the doctor into the doctors. You know, see, I'm still a cook, so I have nobody to cook for me. I still cook. And certain things, I just do myself. When you say, come out to my internal, I say, no. I don't have a joke. I don't have no joke because really and truly, sickness is a thing, you know, where it comes like a normal thing, you know. I never want sickness to be normal. It's not normal to be sick. It's abnormal when you're sick. When your nose are run, it's abnormal. When you sneeze and your nose are run, it's abnormal. So you need to figure out why you're sneezing and why your nose running. If it's some kind of germs around the place or something, it's not true, you're wicked. So it's not true you're wicked why your head that hurt you. But maybe you think too much. You know, see, that? maybe a man take a, 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 a thing and box in your face too. Or maybe you lose some money and then your nerves start to clink. Are you supposed to get some money and you never get it? Like you're afraid now, so you, you don't spend the money before you get it. And your head start to hurt you. You understand? No, that, no, you can't go to the doctor for that. You have to figure it out and say, well, you know, say, I'm not going to think about this too much. No cry over spilt milk. Make it go on and run it course. Because you know, say, yeah, another day, did it. But you have certain things, man. Certain things happen to young people. I go on like, say, okay, you know, say, you can't just drink two bush over this one. No, I don't have them joke there, you know. I don't have them joke there at all. You understand? You have things where cure things and you have things where prevent things. And most herbical think things is to prevent the thing. It's just that, you know, prevention is better than to cure. So you have to start doing the thing before that it don't happen. We have some news or, or, or things that run out about sugar and all them something there. You have some old, old food, you know, where that can't help them again, you know. You understand? That you have to take. Certain things now, herbs, drink this herb and that herb. It is beautiful, but you, know, you can't drink the herb when the thing gone bad already. Because it's supposed to prevent it. A whole heap of them herbal thing is to prevent the thing, it's not to cure it. And when you go to the doctor, the doctor don't cure things. Them, them call it like submerge it. 
like a pain, a tablet don't get you that pain, you know, it, it just make the pain, relieve you from the pain, not, not the pain, no, then, eh. Uh, the thing will cause the pain, no, then, eh. It's just that, no, you're not feeling the pain because you take something where react to your body and react to your brain and you just say, all right, no pain till 12 hour time. 12 hour come now, you see your pain start there again. You have to take another one and another one and another one. And they have a side effect on that. But sometimes the pain is a good relief. Because you don't want it. You have a bad teeth and in the night you can't sleep because it hurts and it's pain you. You just go take something and it just yeah, stop pain you. And then tomorrow morning, you know, you forget to be to you. Through the pain stop now, you say, Chum, I can't bother to take out the teeth, yeah, man. When I got a doctor, I'll take out my teeth, Rasta. The night come and get it licked on your own teeth, you know, you start to figure out, so, where the tablet left there, one minute by, go by half dozen. So, we just have to say that because, they were carry up on the road, for go examine this thing, and, for my, you know, so my mouth, I know my mouth still will cover this sort of day, because I hear the government that talk about sugar, as prevent people from drinking sugar because it will cause only for complications, especially diabetes. Me want to tell the government say <clears throat> people now have rice flour, white flour, white sugar, white rice, white yam and all them things there where it's only for starch that. And starch convert to sugar in your body. Jamaican people eat more starch. That if you have, if you have a watch all the Jamaican I eat little bit of meat and no white rice and they have whole heap of gravy spread over everything that's why the man said take your meat out of my rice and they just nam the meat and left you with the rice remember the chunya and the beer jam plan for me cup and cook <laughs> you remember that chunya bread chill yeah man I said chunya I'm a bad my beer jam I don't like to fight but when it comes to the cage and a knife you be right you put in a 10 cent meat boy <laughs> Take your meat out my rice. Yeah. Well, we know this when Jamaican people are eating you know. Them plate full up of rice. Pure white rice and that, you know, not even brown rice either. You know. Yeah, and a little bit of meat. That you say weird. Them not say something wrong with that. I when them eat vegetables, little bit of vegetable, you know. Are, are, are in terms of the the, the the type of vegetable that they use. Yes. It's maybe just cabbage and carrot and I eat that. Yeah. Some people don't even know what cauliflower is or uh, broccoli. Jamaican people don't know color, color and cabbage. That's what Jamaican people use, so color and cabbage. cabbage. If you go and beyond that, you start going like your uptown. Mm. Yes, yes. You know, <laughs> like uh, uptown people eat cauliflower and broccoli. And yeah, and them thing. Yeah. Arugula. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Do you want some chives? Some chives. I look by you. Maybe some Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, what? Squash. <laughs> no, give me my color of cabbage. You understand? A whole heap of white rice. <laughs> I said, go ahead. Start, I give me my, my chicken back. A whole heap of white rice. rice. I give me my bully beef. A whole heap of white rice. I love that white like, rice, boy. I don't know. I protein don't know. and starch don't mix, you know? No, it doesn't. You know, but Jamaican people eat whole heap of protein and whole heap of starch together, you know? Yeah, you have to eat vegetable and starch. Yeah. Or protein and vegetable. Ah. But when you have protein and starch now, you wonder how you now go to the toilet. Yeah, black up. Oh, gosh, man. That like carbohydrates were gone long in your ton sugar, you know? Yeah. Ah, that's your, your body assimilated. And then no, you get clogged up no. Me jaw for my yabba in a motor. Oh, Straight mean, my yabba in a me and deal with it. Because me know it's a foundation. You know. A foundation, man. Yeah. Can't go around that. Any time, I'm going to send kids. You know, I really, some of the club town people, I'm in the mouth still. I never really get for going to the Rasta community. The culture, yeah. Yes, man. Yeah, man. Eh? Yeah, man. Oh, you know that. That's a long time ago. 
keep in contact with them no, all over. No, up here, yeah, but I mean, about, oh, even know what the rest of the community. Keep in contact through social media. Buy a talk to you, you know. And you know the panel microphone, you know. <laughs> Tell me about something more. Me and you. Me and you. I'm a kind of like I hear you, you know, but... Tell him to the world I hear you. So, buy a shut your mouth around the bridge. Shut your mouth, <laughs> make a bad talk. Yes, all right, me, 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 me buy a ear. Yeah, man, we stay in touch, man, daily, you know, on the social media. You know that, you know, we have a bridge in them. You know, so we, we keep in touch with ones and ones in St. Kitts. But we know, so what, the, the, the youth, them in the Caribbean, more high tall than the youth, the rest of them in the Jamaica. That is true. Eh? That is true. Yeah, me find that. Me, me. I go to Dominica, I go to Trinidad. Yeah, man. And you can't have some Ital car now where you go, go, go in, pan. But mm-hmm. Jamaican youth, they might get too. I don't know. We live for chunks. Yeah, man. Man, I'm pure we, chunks. Ready make, ready make. You know what? We don't know, say, the, the manufacturing business. We have to give for light. Anything where I get manufactured right now, we have to. And I really tell them about Ital all the while. All the while. You see how we look forward to that no motor? When we are telling about idol and coconut and rare, 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 them scan the thing like you always are saying, now we get the biggest scan in the Caribbean. You, know? you see what you think I come around yeah. uh, right now? Them so, say Rasta Liberty right now. Coconut oil is, is in vogue now, you know. In turn, especially for, like in, a, the mood, in a Hollywood, when they put the big star them, I use coconut oil on them skin now, yeah. you know, and all them. Yeah. Them supposed to smell like fry fry, fry plant. No. <laughs> and and a big um a big thing is, is the cast oil. Yes. But coconut oil is like huge, I mean. Yeah. Hey, sorry, anybody who know me say Isaac, tell us that you promised me some coconut oil, cold pressed coconut oil. You understand? Now we have pushed coconut oil, you know, because one time that the coconut oil is not good for me. And then come down and you know, come lick down the wood of the coconut tree them. I want to tell you. coconut tree them when they are St. Thomas. Ah, then they are St. Mary. I want to tell you, a, a fungus come through. And, and then put out, the fungus on Yes, here. man. Wipe out a whole part. Wipe out the coconut. Yes, man. And then put the fungus down and bring a little shot of <coughs> coconut tree them. Coconut. Tree where me know, older than me almost, like from me, I see them coconut tree from me, a boy, and then all of a sudden you see uh, them, the, the, the hard tide start drop out and no leaf, no leaf on it, and yeah, yeah, and that's really been going I, on I for the last 20 years. Out. I kill them, I'm a must. Yeah, and I go like say, where are you there? They will know how them kill it out because them know about different things, they want to bring in canola oil and all sorts of. Sire oil, yeah. I saw the genetical oil will come and off come build up old metabolism, just get crazy power and as a disease. What we did have done have coconut oil on so we should have used coconut oil instead of any other oil at, at the foundation. That yes, you know. if we had done that, it's all oil good because it's all and them use all oil and them all oil may never live long. Olive oil is a, is a good part. And you have the extra virgin, virgin olive oil, not so fire at all. Yeah, man. Cold press. Eh? Cold press, them call it. Yes, one. yes. Cold press olive oil. Not like how they have the cold press coconut oil long yeah. here, but... Boy, it, it's still away. It's still away. Mom said, rats of them are skid, though. Rats of them are skid. They might them are, them are eat something now that me wonder, oh, when they are rats of them, they never use any of them. So. No, sir. Eh? Me, but I me remember when rats of use knife, you know. No. And plate and them things there, you know. <laughs> calabash. <laughs> and cap straight calabash. You know? Come on my yard now. Hey, you know what me like with calabash? Anytime it broke, you know, anytime it broke, you know, feel no way. No. Because you go get another one. You yeah, understand? You, you buy all your... Grow up on trees. We all sort of pattern on it and it broke your bags. What do you mean? Your bags, look how, look how long me have the dish yeah. and you broke me dish. Your crystal. Oh gosh, man, I broke a calabash, man. I just said, chow. Anytime I go on next Rasta Bridge in place or uh, some festival or uh, something, just buy back the calabash for them. You know, but well, I mean, I tell you, anyway, I give thanks still, <laughs> give thanks when they are. Bertrand, you play the instrument? Yeah, man, we play a guitar. Are bass. you playing a guitar there? Eh? No, no, that's Roman Price, okay, original of okay. England, there, yeah, man. And the horns is done by Agis from Amy e- 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 Winehouse. Amy e- Winehouse, that is? Okay. Yeah, Agis Hans, yes, out yes, of England. Dance, man. Very, very structured. Yeah, man. music. Yeah, very well, well arrangement. Yeah, arrangement is beautiful. 
um, operator um, sending the call them. So while the operator sending the phone call them, you know, it is it, like we are celebrate Black History Month the whole year on this program, yeah? But we emphasize it more when January starts. I'll tell the people them say there's a reason why we are doing it that way. Really. The reason why we are doing it that way really is because we don't want reggae month come cloud up the Africanness where we have on this program, yeah. Cause we, we don't want disregard reggae month. So we find a way to really fuse some of the reggae vibes in the month. That it don't look like we are this nothing. Cause we really not this it. Because reggae month, reggae are black history also. Reggae are black history also. But we we want to carry the history to the reggae month of fear now nah, carry it go there. You know, so it's like we see it shadow out the black history. We would have like happen in a black history is that African people find more time to investigate the history and the culture of African people before slavery. Because there's so much books on there where we can't really grasp now. First time we never have these books written by African people. Philosophy, spirituality, politics, religion, all kind of things, African people. So we don't want the Black History Month get sidestepped because of reggae month, which we see that happen. So we here now who recognize that if we balance it away, we, you understand? I will really balance it because now it's we we'll talk about this reparation thing and the bridging <clears throat> it's part of the reggae world where they might emphasize this month there. So we are give it a openness. We are give it a openness. Hill. Blessed Father Muta. Blessed man. Yeah man, with love and goodness, you know. How is it? How do I feel, Papa? Uh, me, me, me feeling quite okay, you know. Okay, yeah, you know, um, an expression going forward, um, asking you for a quick minute to say a thing towards the Panta movie. You see, you go see it? No, okay. but I have heard, you know, and I've um, communicated with others, you know. I've saw an up, um, I've seen a, a, a um, snippets of it earlier. Mm. Yeah, man. Um, I've seen some things online, maybe about five minutes of it in bits and pieces, you know? Mm. And I've heard uh, it, Pabu on it, mentioning some things on it. Mm. Yeah. So did you see it? It would be nice if you could see it still before you start to comment on it from other people. <laughs> from other people. It would be nice if you could see it. Ah, uh, wow. It you know, okay. to yourself. I hear Kabo on it. No, not Kabo. Kabo perspective might be different from your perspective. But you're not going to hold it until you look, look, you see it. Oh, okay. So the reasoning, um, the reasoning now is if you're going to analyze and come to a conclusion about something where it's there for you to see and you never see it. No, but here you are. I've seen, know, I'm no, like I said to you, you, I have seen uh, my son sent me um, Keep it. a yes on it yeah. and, the, 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 you know, just the overview on it. Yeah. I you draw the conclusion the from the overview? All right, I'm going to hear the conclusion. Yeah. Um, Carlos, you may talk I, about it, you know. Say it again. Remember last week, may I start a conversation about it? Truly. Yeah, okay. So, now that you have heard more about it. Yes, and I've communicated with Kabu on it. Mm. But anyway, going forward, you know, I am saying that um, we we are at a crossroads. Um, you know, at 15, I read some the letters of George Jackson. And, and, and it has still resonate and emanate mm -hmm. going forward we are um 
the the and, and I'm gonna see it as a matter of fact I would like to even get it so I can look at it several times mm. to really fully analyze it because in truth you know Father Muta what dwells is we are not looking at just um a movie in space. You know the Panthers were real and the Panthers have suffered throughout, even until this time, A. Trap Brown, Huey P. Newton, Fred Hampton, um, um, Afina Shakur, Asata Shakur. Yeah, but you remember um, you said that last week, you said that last week already, you know? Yeah, no, no, so but I'm you saying to you that... Now, given um, that you have heard about it more now, come with something now where we never talked about last week. We never talked about The argument was that your okay. point of reference... It's for your age. The youth, them do have that point of reference as it relates to blackness. What they are seeing now is something that they never seen before. And what they have seen is that black people is in a, a level where they are superheroes and women is black people are kick long people. They've never seen okay. that before upon a movie screen. So we have right. to start from a point of view, not from in you know, the 60s where me come from and you, but okay. from no, where the picture them who I use computer know about and how we're going to make them now recognize blackness. Are we going to tell them about George Jackson and Angela Davis still? Are we going to draw a reference to something that they are experiencing in a film time? Okay. Um, I'll give thanks for that. Um, and I, 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 I'm not going to take much space this evening. Um, I just want to make a comment that uh, extrapolate, take it from then to now. We still view Mumia Abu Jamal in prison, H. Rap Brown, and how does that connect? They are still in prison and suffering. How does what connect? The movie? No, no, no. I'm saying to you yeah. um, how we are going to um, use a real life situation from the suffering that has caused and still is being caused. I mean, Asata is as can't come home, she's still there, Cuba. And then, we, we, we just make a movie out of it, and it's all fun with dress and the rest of it. So, you know, like I say, um, it would be good for me to get the movie, yeah, so I can really watch analyze it, in yeah. truth. Watch the movie. So, um, I, I, I guess, you know, I'm, I'm patient, and, and you know, that is a virtue, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this piece to somebody else. All right, give thanks, brethren. Irie. Yeah, man. One love. Once again, I'm going to say that we can take it to a point. As you said, I'm going to tell like a 15 year old now, if you're going to listen to. I mean, you can't tell them still, you know. But if you're going to really go down into now the scatter lights and the music. It's good for know the history, you know, but all that going to carry you now, a 15-year-old youth, move to the next level. You have to bring something to him that he's familiar with. You know, me love the scatter lights and me love them all time 70s music there. But we can't stuck in the 70s and the scatter lights music. It's historical. It's a historical thing. So to make a youth understand now, maybe you have to bring chronics to him. You understand? You have to look like a 15 year old and tell him about chronics. But we are going to tell him about now, Dan Drummond. That is, eh, where's the region? Mota, you see, what happened actually happened to me is you mature and you find your way. Yeah. So the youth who know about chronics, when he mature, he may find him way to Dan Drummond too. Yes, yes. yes. But he need to know about chronics because chronics is in his generation that's it's relevant been, to been him. Light, no. That's who, yes. Oh, in my exactly. days, it was Angela David, the Black Panther Party. Let me tell you something. Newton. One of my uncle was a founding member of the New York chapter of the Black Panther. He do 27 years in a jail and me bury him in a 2000. Yes. I, I, I don't know what moon we are. And he's, he's around the same time them get arrested. And yeah. Her, Herbert Daughtry is who conducted the rights. 
and two of his brethren, Benwa and the next brethren, came back from Africa to the funeral. And it's then when them start reason to me, me understand who that uncle really was. Yeah, so we, 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 we can't we, stop. We, we can't stop. What I happened is with this and movie. And our point of reference is very important. It, to it will etch in the you them. If it does nothing else but etch the memory of the Black Panther in the youth, you them it's a yes. great, I mean, it's a beautiful idea. Yes, yes. And it's something young and inspiring. Of course, because I've never generation. seen now, but I've never seen before. Yeah. Them say black woman are kick man. You know, and sometimes we have to just kind of ease up a little, you know? Eh? Sometimes we have to just kind of ease yeah, up. Yeah, you can't clap. be too heavy. Yeah, otherwise. You know, it's like ease heavy. up the clam. You know, say you have everything right. No, you have to ease. <laughs> yeah, man. You have to ease. We love what you don't say a while ago. You yeah, have to man. ease up too much. You know, the heaviness. Yeah. We bear down upon people in my age and your age. And they're not ready yet because yeah, it's maturity. Know, okay. It's not that we are ignore it, but come on, man. We had to reach to a level of maturity before yeah. we could have grasped certain things. Yeah, yeah, move, man. You have to move, man. That's why I mean, we can't take some man we are talking about. Whoa, you see me now? Give me the 60s, give me the 70s music. And him not listen to no music where the youth them are make. I mean, me play for, for how much years now me I play the stepping razor. Because part of the stepping razor where me mostly play. Contemporary Jamaican yeah. music, I you know, where, like where the youth them are met now. See. And I tell them, say, hey, you know, old people will love Muta Baruka. Listen to them too now. Because, meanwhile, you don't know, listen to them. The youth them now listen to one of them, they listen to, and you don't want to tell the youth them to listen Riff. to them music there. <laughs> so, what exactly. kind of generation gap them are create? Yeah. You would have liked the youth them know about Burning Spear and this and that from them time there. Where them never born yet. You tell them about man where them never born yet, you know. It's but a no, balance. It needs a balance. You know, when them balance, make so. tune, you know why I listen to it because you say a foolishness. Oh, you know a foolishness and you know I listen to it. Like you call her before. Yeah. You know, see the movie, but you want to draw analysis. And you, and that you, you have to watch a movie. And maybe you have to watch a movie a few times. From people who trust. Yeah, but, but you know trust yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 you have to watch a movie and then you make analysis about it. Yeah. And you can't go a preconceived notion about it neither. Because it's a fantasy thing. It's a, it's, it's a fantasy. It's not, it's not something real, but it, it, it draw from authentic historical African yes, thing. yes, Africanness. Yeah, it's yes. a show you it's a show you place in Africa where it's high science and technology advanced up the side. It's a show you the the, the, the the look of the movie. And for once we go out a movie where me see everybody coming in Africa and clothes. Me never see that from me, but I haven't seen it yet. But I, I have, have never I seen want that to from see where it. I go to movie. I have never seen a movie where everybody come in a African clothes. See. That my lady has said, "Well, you get your wish now because you wear African clothes every day. You never did have to go there with no special clothes. I go to go get people make clothes for you. See. Can <laughs> you know the people that make the clothes make? Yeah. Because some of them do have like a African clothes in their wardrobe." Them are everywhere. Them have European clothes like wow, coat and tie like wow, Italy, France, this and that. Maybe something catching on. No, finally, no, no, from Africa. Finally, something. No, here's a move we come now. We make everybody put on an African outfit and appreciate yeah. it too. There you go. So that's, that's looking at it linger. objectively. Yes, it went to linger. Yeah. So the fantasy thing and the illusion. We, we, we don't deal with fantasy about super and them. We know about white people and them Marvel comic and them something like that. The youth them, them point of reference is from here, not from over there. Yeah, them point of exactly. reference is here. You can only tell them about history. But you can't make them repeat it. Because everyone has to create their own history now. Yes, their own thing. story. Yes. Not for them time. Yes, so yeah. it's just like me I say, and you know, me understand where the brethren have come from. You know, the, the real Black Panther, well, not the real, but the original Black Panther was an organization in America was set up for deal with social issues against that was happening against black people so in push America. back so push back against what was being pushed yes, on them yes against what them call the pig them you understand yeah. but now you have a different push back now because you have to go push back now against some black youth we are murder black youth and some government we don't have the people them interests at all so you have to have a different point of reference musically yeah 
culturally and the culturally, world. Culturally, yeah. cinematically and all this, Cali, yeah. where you can deal with. Yeah. You understand? So it, it, it's just that. It's just that. Because even the African clothes take a different look. Because we see some design in Africa now. That is African design, you know, it's not European no, influence. Straight African, African design. But it's not the traditional African design. The limited. Yes. The limited version of, yes. of yes. our. Yeah, I think social media have a lot to do with that. Because my lady a designer, you know. I mean, see, she designed some clothes where she used Africa as the basis for her inspiration. But when you tell people, say, oh, she had create African clothes, them start to. Can't drop now them head. A dashiki. Kind of, yeah. Old time looking clothes. Yeah, dashiki. So we are in a Nigeria. Yeah. Them, them, them shan it. Even before them see it, you know. Them shan it. When them see it now, them say, eh. Never know African clothes. Yeah, I'm telling me so see some whopping yeah. piece of style they with them I make right now. No, no, in, a, in a western can't manage can't them. Can't manage it. The, the, the patterns alone, Muta. I tell you, man. I use that one with touchy continent too much time. The patterns alone out of Africa in the material itself. Yeah, I yeah. mean, second to now, you know, see them things in the else. Maybe China. Yeah. 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 Yeah, bless him. Respect, you know. How is it? Well, I mean, I don't like most of respect. Yeah, I them. I call from South Spring. I'm a man to go be, you know. Mm. I mean, I always love the reason where the item are put on. All right. But you see, in reality, when we look upon all the music thing, you know, I mm. feel, say, they need to promote more love in the music. Because you see, like how the policeman who rush taxi man and them thing there. Mm. So really, the, the radio station and the producer, them, where they promote the gun song, them, they have the ticket, you know. Because they rush the, the taxi man and they rush everybody until the country mash up. And in reality, the music and the gun song them. Yeah. And then they mash up Jamaica. One of the main things. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's a mash it up, but it's part of the problem. It's a big part of it. Yeah, but it's not. It's a mash it up. It's part of the problem. Because the taxi man them is part of the problem too. Yes, that's the one where they drive bad. But no, no, they were. They, 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 they were. I know every musician has seen gun thrown. So and every taxi man well, a drive bad That's why you have to big up like how you talk about chronics you not know, too long and them artists. They want to go back to the culture where love and unity and strength do it. You see the man where you talk about even Paisley Park. All them places I travel to, you know. Yeah. Minneapolis all over the world. I don't lie. Right. Man, they sent me a Cuba like. from me at 17, 19 years. Yeah. And we enjoy Cuba life. We come back, we end up in America. Yeah. Treat all my family, them good everybody. And so you come back to Jamaica and come live now. You live at Jamaica now. You live at Jamaica now. Like no. You live at Jamaica now. Yeah, man. Me not live Jamaica. Cause they deport me enough times, so me, me can't live there. About both times they put me from America. We do say that. We say that. You are not by year, by choice, but not by free will. But you never, you never come back by free will. Well, I say because me never use visa. No, me always just go to one side. Well, I don't say if them never send you back, you are still over there. Yes, and the time in America, I just look out to the artists, they all, you can shine it. Yeah. What, um, Johnny has burned the whole of them. One time, they one party, and they don't want to pay Johnny has burned the money. They have to say, give money, money, man. Well, That's why you don't talk to the man business, man. In, in, in Atlanta. Oh, your company really don't talk to the man business, so. Well, me I tell you, I show them to a lot of the regular artists. No, them. but you can't come by the regular artists. I tell you, 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 in reality, remind me not to see how far in. Yeah? Remind me not to see how far in. Yeah, but then, I don't see where you're coming from, man, to go be, you know, when you keep the love concert, no, you know, with Max Kaiser. No, me not me not to see how far in. Okay, okay, okay. Because I drive me go somewhere to the place, coal. I mean, I want to walk outside, and I can tell people, say, see, Muta, when coal bite him, I'm going to drive him, you know. No, sir, 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 we yeah. love where you go and big up the, 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 the unity and the African vibe. Yeah, man. And big up Kabo too, you know? Yeah, man, of course. Of course. And big up all that South Spring and the man to go be people. Me love where them are show love, you know? I love with you know? South Spring. Uh, yeah, man. South Spring with them, man. To, where I'm to Norwood? Eh? Where I'm to Norwood? Yeah, man. One of them places now, Norwood, now they never even grow at them places, you know? Mm. That's why we like how the love are come back and the, the unity and strength. Because we used to work now with now, we'd have blend them and go listen to Twilight Type 5. Yeah. And all the specialists, them sound there. 
a free link, link to them there. Yeah, yeah. I see love start show again, so we just love the unity and the strength. Me I hear him keep a big dance, I know where the emperor of faith, that St. Thomas. That St. Thomas, that. I saw man to be used to run. I have plan to go wrong there, no. I plan to go wrong there. Me I tell you when I did, we don't mind him doing one of these, so you man to go be. You talked to him last week. He called me last week. When he called me, I called him son, him son, man. He called me. Yeah, man. So just big up the love and the unity. Yeah, man. And the love said you, you know? So when you go back to Minneapolis? I'm in a prison place. I must visit more and visit. I don't want to live by the cold country. Know, again, when you know. go back, when you go back. Well, me no plan to go back in there. I woke up in there. I so. want to travel Africa like you. You know, and some other place and some Caribbean island. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a question. Yeah, you man. want to fast now your business, you know? But you can't fast now your business. Yeah, man, I mean, I don't have no business where they hide. Oh, you go out far without visa so much time. Oh, okay, you know, say, me look funny and say, they always go Africa, go take up people from boat and ship. Mm. So, to my friend, they always said they wanted a friend long time, long a man to go be here. So we just head to Sumala Island. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, say, so we just go to Boom and Pearl, the money, and from Miami. Bahamas, from Bahamas. And, and we are living. When the time they catch me, send me home. Yeah. Right now, me and me US dollar, me gone back already. That's what I'm going to tell you. Oh, so you really like Jamaica, then? Because when they really capture people out, because they didn't give you a visa. Yeah. We'll come here with, we never come here with a passport, we'll send you a visa. Go back. But let me tell you something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I go to jail at Nassau one time, you know. Me go there too. Listen to me now, man. And then suddenly they send me to Jamaica. Yo, you know listen to my story. Oh, me hear your story, me know listen to my story. Yeah, me listen. Me listen to your story, listen to my story, man. Mm -hmm. I read you the for me, when we used to them a mob here, right? He yeah. sent for me and that's all. Uh, and mm -hmm. I was 13 now in a yard, then they had talked about rat hunting, and police come in there. Some that's all police mm -hmm. raid the place and take the 13 away and carry okay. over jail. So when in a my cell now, right? Me look uh, on my cell, about four youth, now they tell you not. Yeah, the four yeah. youth, now they tell, hey, you see when me go back and jump me, I kill me, I kill that preacher boy there, you know? Because the boy I tell you, say, oh, I can't get to you, that's all. Without yeah. visa to reach over to Florida, you know, Rasta. I see each other, I jail me there, you know. You see how I catch all the priests, a boy there. I kill me, I kill yeah. the boy. That me, I say, wait, yes, I don't go on. But here, I know, here the preacher tell them now. He said, yeah. can't send them over the pan crusade, Christian crusade. Yeah. And all them have to give me some money. So that you used to do? Yes, then for me, life that can be look funny as that. Is that is a, is a, is a real Malcolm and Sam Marcus Garvey kind of people, you know. Me not go if you follow my friend going back, you go look visa. I'm not going to try no visa because I'm not get it. You just find me where you go on island and end up in America. Reggie, you have to be laughing at that car, Reggie. You have to be laughing at that car. Everybody in the address is laughing at that car. Easy. Yeah, I'm not going to find no visa office. Because they know me think they're so much coming to me return me. But when I'm made to an island and pay me money, I end up in America. Yeah. When they catch me, they send me out. And you don't know no Obia, man. What a man? I'm busy with Obia, man. Obia, man, can't help me. I mean, the US dollar helped me. I mean, right. I made a friend with it. Then we, then we give, give one lift. Yeah. We have to move here, though. What? Cut off? Just as I say, we have to move here, we have to cut off. Because it don't look like when we didn't know it. I got you. For those of you who don't know, Black Rose Card, and it's a Bogle. And in Bridging there. You didn't know that, Bridging? You hear about Bogle? You must know about Bogle, man. Everybody know about Bogle. Everybody know about Bogle, don't it? It's a car now we go through quite a few times, especially when we go down town. We always drive through this and go down Cali Smith. And the bridge in them. I always see up on the car now, but I know the car now kind of deteriorate. It don't look like how oh, when Bogle in the day there and things that are run. It don't look like. Anyway, I see some youth today and they might say, Why Muta? Ray, 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 and Lele, Lele. I say, I will call you, you know, because we want to find out how the car now just stays up. Nobody not really like, like them interested again to keep the, the aesthetics. Mm. So me I call the bridge in them now. And me not a different thing. It's <laughs> like they keep a dance in the background and I answer them phone and I listen to the phone. So me know, no problem you know, because I'm going to say, I'm telling you, so I call me call you know, and phone number and none of them not answer the phone number. You understand? So we... Anybody who know the youth them on the corner, don't have both the corner they saw. Tell them some motor baruka try get them for talk about the corner. Cause we feel say it's a very 
historic corner as it relates to dance. Because we see the dance now is part of the dance hall more than ever before. And we know Bogle is one of them man who did pioneer that blew up a dance hall dancing. But as we say, the man them I do something different. <laughs> man them I do something different. This is the cutting edge and IRFM. Yes, cutting edge. Bye, your manager say more I hear that tune, so we're gonna play it. <laughs> Are your manager? Tell me for your manager. Ah, you know I say so. You know I say so. You know I say so. All right. <laughs> well, him say him look like him love that tune, right now, so we're gonna play it for him. We wanna dedicate this song to Baya. Give thanks to the time, give thanks to the energy, give thanks to all the people them who stay with me till them hours at night. Believe you me, you know, so you could have sleep. I could have hug up your man, or your woman could have hug up you. But you prefer hug up Muta. Believe you me, we give thanks to that. I remember how you do. <laughs> you know, so go play I remember yeah, the other night. Yes. No, I remember. She did she live at um Portmore. Portmore, I remember they were Portmore go over there go play music for her. Saturday night, her birthday, miserable woman, all her picked them such a miserable. <coughs> Give thanks to the Bridging for Pass Through, Crucial Banky, as you say, good album, sweet album. And you hear the Bridging talk about some kind of, re- repeat it again, Bridging, because. My, my music. My, my music. <laughs> we have come online and now come stream up some music where people who are on bus. We get an opportunity for them music stream online. You never know who can listen to your music. Sometimes you just have to play music. You know how much time, you know how much time people listen to Stepping Razor. A whole of artists are going like this and going like that. You know how much time people listen to Stepping Razor. And like more me used to them go and through because the promoter them asks about the artists them. Yes, a the European, somebody, the, 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 the what them call them, to show them the festival them yeah. and, and, that, and that radio station they listen you know and book artists you know I hope people don't know that you know at that radio station yeah, them book artists half of the program them on me up on RFM and enough time them call me and I say tell me something the artist the way you play you know where I can find him believe you me true we attack true we attack so you know I can tell you I listen to your music so when you hear the bridge it's about my my Whatsoever, whatsoever there. You never can tell who when you are streaming music, a producer hear it and say, Wait, well, man, you wanna get that guy, man? Yes. Are you love Vita, you know? Devoted and dedicated youth. Why Vita me love you more than all Jesus love like a children? Why you love the, all the student them? We call them student teachers, a money high school we talk to. Hey, only have me down the long in the rest of believe you be. Believe you me, I pro- hey, a long time they talk to you, you know, here at the night, yeah. But we enjoy it still, we want healing up our hopes, so what we say, we'll allow you to really understand Rastafari and also remember to put what we say in our, in our, when the professor asks you a certain question, on the sheet, you know, say, most of the students and most of them say that. We want to do those who never take note. We want to the all the students, them, we call them student teachers, a man in high school, we talk to. Hey, you know, I'm down the long in the rest of believe you me. Believe you me. I pro- hey, a long time they talk to you, you know. Here at the night, yeah. But we enjoy it still. We want to heal up our hopes. So what we say, we'll allow you to really understand Rastafari and also. Remember, for put where we say in our, in our when the professor asks you a certain question on the, on the sheet, you know, say most of the and most of never say that. We want to those who never take note. You know, so we'll be back not here in our FM studio, but in Port Maria. As you hear the things that are going, we'll be outside broadcast. This is the third time. One, two, three. I think this is the fourth time we're up on the road with the stepping razor. Fourth time. Poetry in Motion, Mandeville, this Sunday, 25th February, Manchester Golf Club. We will be there.